I want to say hi to uh, my friend Spencer Prelitz. Spencer and I going to switch jobs at some point because Spencer <laughs> Spencer's a radio a, guy. Way right? back in the day, I was. Back in yeah. the day. Well, look at that. You could trade jobs for a day. We yeah. could because he has the coolest job He's there the is. master of fun. He's the general manager at mm-hmm. the Slumu Institute. Uh, the Slumu Institute is a slime museum. Yes. You were there yesterday. As, and uh, Marie Peters. Yeah, we Marie went Peters. back. Yeah. All my uh, granddaughter wanted to do this summer before she goes back to school in the fall was to make sure she gets to the slime museum. And she, like Spencer, is an expert. You yeah. guys were wall to wall yesterday. It is spring, is that break. spring break. It's spring break at the Institute. So we've been sold out for a pretty big chunk of this week going into the weekend. We're going to be pretty busy too. It's a good time to be in slime. <laughs> You never There's get a too much you don't slime. Hear every day. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's yeah. playing with slime. He's yes, just, he is. And he brought us it's all like a, a slime. nervous habit playing with slime. It, slime it's, some, it's something that's terrific to keep my hands busy and helps keep me focused, I feel like sometimes. And it's taking the idea of slime that it's not just this glob of goop for kids, it's mm-hmm. something that has a lot of benefit for everybody. Our co founders actually found the idea of slime and sensory play during some tough times in their life, and they wanted to share the. The joy in kind of being a kid again with the world. So that's where the Institute came from. Is this the new fidget spinner? And, and It's uh, definitely you know, in that same family, but a bit uniquely different at the same time because it's something you can make at home, and we just make a lot of it at the Institute. Yes, you do. Explain what the ingredients are. So it all starts off oh, with a bit of Elmer's glue. There's different types of glue wow. to make different types of slime. Of course, the classic Elmer's school glue is our staple, but you can even make glow-in-the-dark slime out of glow-in-the-dark glue. There's a massive variety. From there, you can use something called an activator that takes that oopy goopy glue and turns it into something that's actually holdable and fun. Mix in some makeup grade color pigments, some fun scents based around certain themes. You got yourself a Slime 101. And and slime tenders are the bartenders of the slime world. And I, listen, I'm just going to tell you right now because I'm a bit of an expert now myself, having made a couple of trips. Go for the upgraded experience because in the upgraded experience... You're going to have a chance to concoct what amounts to your own your slime, own slime. Yeah. and add some charms and also uh, throw on some gear and get slimed. Oh. Yeah, so every guest does get to make their own slime from scratch at our DIY bar. But to your point, the enhanced experience, you can go to our slime waterfall, Slumu Falls, and get slimed. Yeah. So the, the waterfall slime is a lot looser than the slime that we're making and that we're all playing with right now that we can take home. Definitely. I don't think our plumbers would be super happy if we were no. taking the slime and putting it at the falls. Yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm, my slime uh, jar that you uh, sent over here, uh, melted chocolate bunny. Tell me more. Yeah, so He's we... going to eat it, so make sure. No, no, that's a roll. <laughs> don't eat slime. That's a roll. It is not toxic, but you might get a bellyache there. Uh, the idea of the Easter collection, we were making new slimes for new holidays events all the time. So we just wrapped up St. Patrick's Day a couple weeks ago with some rainbow slimes. Oh. We've got a pretty vast Easter collection. You're taking on melted chocolate bunny over there, Steve. Yes. We're getting ready for April Fool's Day coming up. And, of course, summer's not too far away for our summer collection. All right, so why not uh, uh, have all the slime? You're able to theme out a lot of this stuff, which is cool. Yeah. But I know schools are coming down and you've got tours and stuff. In the summer, I want to make people understand summer plans for kids. You're in the burbs, you listen mm-hmm. wherever you're listening around the country. I believe you've developed here a must stop if you've got kids in particular. Uh, in Chicago. The best thing, of course, the kids know what they're about to experience. They see the slime. They're like, I love slime. It's all over YouTube, ASMR, TikTok channels to play with it. This oddly satisfying feeling, this great ASMR tingle down your spine. The kids know about that. The adults are like, oh, God, this is the stuff that always ends up on my furniture and on my rugs. You can leave the mess with us. And the best part, when we when we see guests leave for the day, they say, I had more fun than my kids. I got to I'm unplug. Sure. I got That's to be a kid fine. again. You know I, I saw this time around, and I, I don't know that I noticed it last time because I was busy watching the, the, the my little goofballs. But um, dates. I saw oh, like three or four yeah. couples coming date. in on dates. That's, that's the best date. part. Again, adult slimers are sometimes the best slimers because sometimes they're a little less educated than the youngsters and they can just take on something completely new. Ooh, your, your so, slime turned out so pretty. So let's talk about my slime because my slime is different than your slime and there's yes. all different kinds of slime. So we're equal opportunity slimers. Exactly. We, Explain what slime this is. So it's we've different. done the math. We can do somewhere along the lines of six to seven million different combinations of slime with all of our different ingredients. Mm-hmm. You're playing with something called Speed Racer, yep. which is a cloud dough slime. So it starts off with a little bit of Elmer school glue, mm-hmm. and then we add in lots and lots and lots of instant snow as well as air-dried ah. clay. And that really helps keep it to be one of our least sticky recipes. Oh, thank you. But you had some red, some blue, and some yellow yeah, slime artistically swirled together. And now purple. It's a pretty purple. And what is it about basic hand sanitizer, which we've all come uh, become so familiar with, that mm-hmm. just removes this stuff so well? 
So everything that we use in our ingredients is meant to be quickly removable. So in the event you get slime on yourself or on some furniture, a little warm vinegar or warm water and white vinegar will clear it right oh, that's up. That's perfect. Including but, your clothes, right? Yeah. yeah. And when we get sometimes those pigments, sometimes they stain our fingers a little bit. It's makeup grade pigment, so it wipes off just like makeup oh, would. Just like makeup. Um, it is cool. It is. There's nothing more interactive uh, than this because you're playing from the moment you walk in. And um, I would also encourage you, if you're a, a, a mother, father, grandfather, a, a grandmother, make sure the kids get a chance to slingshot a ball <laughs> of slime <laughs> at you. Absolutely. You go behind this uh, this this see through plastic <laughs> screen, and it's like taking a hundred mile an hour fastball. It can be, yeah. Some of the, particularly our adult slimers really like to get some speed behind there, but it's a great opportunity to put the kids behind the glass and fire away and. I don't know if it's been a long day for you. Sometimes that's pretty helpful. <laughs> but so this is the biggest question I have. I love it. I want to go. I want to go on a date. I want to bring kids. I want to be there every day. Oh, your husband, Kurt, would love this. He would love this. I want to sleep. He's a sling. child. He's a kid old. <laughs> Where is it? It's on the corner of Chicago and Orleans over in River North. Wow. So we're not too far away at the moment. Super close if you're downtown. But what a great place to go. Can you get tickets ahead of time? Absolutely. Or can we, you just walk up? We always recommend it. Booking in advance, particularly with spring break at the moment, we definitely recommend booking yeah. in advance. Limited Tickets will be super limited for our walk-up guests, but they're always available, and our latest calendar is available at slumuinstitute.com. And what's the hours? Uh, we're open seven days a week for the next couple of weeks for spring break. We're reducing back down to Thursdays through Sundays as we get ready for the late springtime, and then we'll be opening up all week long again for the summer vacations. How all much right. time should we allot when we go? Like hours, a whole day? Can well, you stay as long you as you spend, want? You could spend at least a couple of hours or more. You could do it in an hour if you're tight on time. Yeah, once you're inside, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. We okay. recommend somewhere between 60 to 90 minutes to get the full experience. Mm-hmm. But to Steve's point, I think he had a little trouble pulling the grandkids out of there yesterday. <laughs> they weren't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky they uh, so didn't cool. stay. so cool. But Abigail be a good employee for you. You know, she knows the game <laughs> yeah. at eight. Hey, we're always hiring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah.